All right, lads, so in less than 24 hours' time, we are going to be getting the Nihility Summons rerun. This is a banner that features three different Okioras, the Hidden, Resurrection Secunda Tapa, and also the Renewed Okiora. It was a pretty exciting banner when it did release in October, and the great thing about the banner is that it was a premium banner featuring three good characters in the premium pool, and the hope was that sometime later on, you could potentially pick them up when they become fillers. This, however, is the first time we're seeing a premium banner like this get a rerun, and I can kind of understand why, since it is a summon more special banner featuring three Okuros, something that they've never really done before, and of course, also a remake of a past anniversary character. Now, these three characters are set to return tomorrow in this banner, and the banner itself will be lasting into the 12th. Now, the pretty cool thing about this banner is that it does only feature Aspada characters with the exception of Geo. It's kind of cool to have like a theme with this particular banner, and while I do think it's cool, it unfortunately comes to the downside of just making this banner kind of mediocre. And quite frankly, I don't think this banner is really worth summoning on, even if you are a massive Okura fan. Okura is at the point where he's around six or so months old, so in a couple months' time, potentially leading up to the anniversary, potentially even on the anniversary if we're lucky, he could be a filler. I know there are many people out there that are currently saving their summer tickets for the anniversary, the hopes to get the 8th anniversary character, and you could potentially walk away with these Okioras. The banner itself is going to be a usual 7-step format, so step 1, 6, 11, 16, and 21 are discounted at 150 orbs, or at step 2, 7, 12, 17, and 22 are discounted at 200 orbs, and then of course, every 5th step does guarantee to you a five-star character. Quickly having a look at the characters though, in case you do decide to summon, Okura is best described as a speed version of Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto. By that, he has a grace set to strong attacks, a beam, Tracking Vortex SA2, and also a full screen SA3. Good damage output, which can get increased when he does affect the Stazzleman, and he himself has a very powerful Soul Bomb with Bombardment, the SP boost, and also a 40% Devastation. If you are someone that potentially gets dupes to this character, he is easily able to nuke Guild Quest even when he doesn't have Killer. But lucky for him, he does have a Sparta and also Holo Killer, so he does make for a very good Sparta nuker in Guild Quest, and that's mainly his main use right now. If you're looking to have an easy time in the Sparta Guild Quest, this Okura is a massive character to have on your particular account. The resurrection version of Okura is a pretty good character, has some usage in Brave Battles, can be quite toxic in Arena, but once more, he's mainly designed to be a Guild Quest character, more specifically though, in the ranged Captain Guild Quest. In his case, he does have a lot of damage, which is further increased when he is at full stamina, and he's kind of designed to be at full stamina with an SA2 that has a debuff and also a multi-barrier for himself and also his teammates. You're not really gonna get much usage of him in PvE content, but again, Guild Quest and also Arena, he has a lot going for him. And and then the third Okiura is the hidden version. In his case, he is the ultimate mind farmer. So by using this card, you're getting Link Swap Potions, Droplets, and also Super Link Swap Potions. He's actually pretty good with a great set of strong attacks, with an increased chance to inflict status limits, and in his case, he can inflict weakening. He is essentially good in any inheritance trials, as long as the enemies aren't immune to weakening. And that's basically the three main banner characters, right? As for the other characters, Baragun, not really much going for him. He's quite a slow character. It is pretty cool that he can actually inflict weakening and drain on every attack, but unfortunately that SA2 kind of holds him back, that being a debuff attack. Geo is mainly designed to be used in Senkamon and also Guild Quest when going against human enemies. Halibo is actually a pretty good character, main usage though is seen in Arena since she is an Arena character, but can actually be used right now in current IT for example, since she does have Quincy Killer. Noritora is quite an outdated character, not much going from besides a particular stage in Senkamon where he has most of the bonuses for. Nelio is mainly a Guild Quest character for the media rank Guild Quest, she does do more damage than she's really good if you are in need of a character for that particular week. And then Zapro is just quite mediocre. The only thing he's got going for him is the fact that he is a crystal and jewel character. But even then, that's not really that special anymore. So yeah, like I mentioned, the banner itself is actually pretty cool with the idea that they're just using Aspartas with the exception of Geo. But I just don't think this is a banner really worth summoning on. Yes, the free Okiros are still great, some of the better characters in the game. But at the same time, you kind of just have a better banner out right now. That, of course, being the banner that a lot of people have summoned on and are still summoning on being the Burn the Witch banner. Bargo and his sushi are just an infinitely better Okiura. Macy is a better speed character than Okiura. They do different things, keep that in mind. But if you're just looking for a powerful speed character, Macy is better for that. And then Bruno has a Sparta Killer. So if you're looking for a new Sparta Killer leader, I mean, Bruno can do that job for you. The only reason I think people would summon on this banner is if you are a massive Okiura fan, then of course this banner is kind of just for you, right? Another chance to go for the free Okiuras in the same banner. Next time they return, they might just all be split up in different banners. So you might not really get that many opportunities to pull for them again, unless this banner does get another rerun in like four or so months time. But yeah, that's basically the breakdown for this banner. It's it's a bad banner in my opinion. Obviously, Burn the Witch does offer more value there, so I would also recommend you lads keep summoning on that banner over trying to go on for these characters, despite you maybe even being an Okiura fan. 
Maybe try and get these cards later on when they do come back. Maybe continue saving your summer tickets to try and hopefully get them while you're trying to go for the 8th anniversary characters. With that said though, let me know if you still plan to summon on this banner. I was originally going to do the first step because I do want dupes of Okiura, the renewed version, and I did want to get my hands on a Super Links or character, that being Okiura, but now that I have, you know, Bargo, for example, don't really have much use going for Okiura right now. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.